What's good, y'all? This your boy KO back with another episode of America's Team 86 TV. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and um, please share this on your social media platforms, man. We're trying to grow the channel, We're giving y'all consistent content on a daily basis. So, you know, sub up, man. Let's let's grow this channel out, man. Grow the the uh, grow the gang out, man. Look. The Dallas Cowboys in the running back position. Now, I know that the days of having a bell cow running back and having one guy to do all of the dirty work for you, those days may be gone. But it's very clear that having a, a very good running game is important to the success of your franchise and your football team. And looking at our running back room right now, this is no disrespect to nobody, but last year was, they had a bad year, bro. Deuce Vaughn looked like he too little. He he was fun for the preseason, you know what I mean? That was fun, little dude, dudes. That shit was fun, man, I ain't gonna lie. Thought he might could be something. We might have a little Darren Sproles on our hand. But when he got opportunities in the regular season, man, he just looked too little, bro. He was a little too little, wasn't he, bro? Yeah. He was too little, bro. Rico Dowdle. You know, injury play career so far. But when he got his opportunities, he did good, bro. He showed some moments, a little burst, a little wiggle to him, physical. Tony Pollard had his worst year. In my opinion, and I know he had more yards in other years, but he just didn't look Tony Pollard-ish. He didn't look Tony Pollard-ish, bro. And now that's the injury that he had in the playoff game the year before, breaking bones in his, in his leg and give him a year to get back. I understand all of that, but we got to make a move, man. Jerry Jones said he all in, right? That we say, he say all in. And this is why I just be counting that shit as lip service. Because somebody that's all in, I wouldn't be so pessimistic. And I wouldn't be able to confidently tell you, man, we ain't getting no Derrick Henry, bro. <laughs> we ain't getting no Derrick Henry. We're going to draft for some running backs, one, maybe two, and hope that they come in as rookies and give some, some extra firepower to our running back room, bro. But if you are of the mindset that you think Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and the Dallas Cowboys about to go out here and sign Derrick Henry or trade for Derrick Henry or whatever the hell, are you sadly mistaken, bro? You sadly mistaken. They're going they gonna, they gonna to try to get Tony Pollard to take a team-friendly deal. And if don't nobody offer him nothing better, we might get Tony Pollard back. They may even consider franchising him, which is stupid. Which is dumb And then they gonna draft some running backs bro <laughs> Then they gonna draft some running backs bro They ain't getting Derrick Henry dog This is why I don't believe them when they say they all in man Shit like this Real talk And it's sad to say Because we know where we weak at We know on offense bro We could use running back And we could use Another young receiver and we got to show up our offensive line a little bit. Some of them guys getting older, like Tyron Smith's time to start looking for a left tackle and waiting. You know, some good interior linemen to to spell Biotish and if Zach Martin get nicked up, something like that. But running back is a huge need. And watch us not address and as a, it. And as a Dallas Cowboys fan, bro, that's where a lot of my frustration with the organization stems from because I know that the only way that we gonna get better in these key positions is we gotta hope Will McClay and the team that 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 uh scouts our talent for the draft, we gotta hope they hit it out the park every year, bro. We gotta hope they hit it out the park pretty much every year. Now this year, some of our free agent moves, they panned out. Brandon Cooks, he did all right. He had an impact. Stephon Gilmore had a huge impact. Definitely wanna re-sign him. But for the most part, being a, a lifelong Dallas Cowboys fan, here in the recent years, you know, you got to 
You gotta just hope that Will McClay can hit something out the park, bro. You gotta hope that he'll hit something out the park. Cause we ain't going to take chances on no high price free agents for the most part, bro. So when it comes to the running back position and people talking about Derrick Henry and, and all that, bro, we not they ain't going to get Derrick Henry, bro. If they go get Derrick Henry, I'd be pleasantly surprised, bro. But the past is the is a great indication of what you'll do in the future. And this is a team that they let Zeke go when he was starting to fall off. They let him go up out of here. They don't keep. They they not keeping you. They let Amari Cooper go. Traded for him for a first round pick and then let him go and traded him to the Browns for some trash, bro. For like a fourth or fifth round pick or some shit. Like, bro, we ain't. And Amari Cooper been balling. So, I don't have any faith in getting a big time free agent running back or trading away draft capital for Derrick Henry. I don't think Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones will do that, bro. This is the same owner that told you, like, we ain't making no moves at the trade deadline, but if somebody want to talk about making a trade, shit, y'all can call us. You the one that needs something. <laughs> Why would anybody be calling you when you the one that need to make moves to improve your roster? That's just lazy and nonsensical, man. So I don't have any faith in us getting a big time running back. The only faith I got is in Will McClay, man. You want to rank the front office officials? Who you going to have faith in? Number one, Will McClay. Number two, Will McClay. Number three, Will McClay, bro. That's it. That, that's it. Everybody else, Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones, man, just surprised me pleasantly, bro. Because I ain't got no faith in them, dog. None whatsoever, bro. So we talk about running back a lot in Cowboys Nation because of the year that Tony Pollard had. He had to be franchise tagged. Obviously, we either going to have to give him a contract extension or they're going to have to franchise his ass again. And anybody think that the help inside the running back room is going to come in the form of Derrick Henry or some big-time trade or big-time signing, man, you better start looking at draft prospects, dog. <laughs> You better start looking at draft prospects. You better start looking at, okay, I think the Cowboys might try to get a running back in the third round who we think going to be available. I think the Cowboys might try to get a running back in the fourth round who we think might be around during that time. Will McClay, can you please draft somebody and help us draft somebody that's going to be a dog? That's your best hope, bro. <laughs> that's your best hope as a Cowboys fan, man. Anything else? You setting yourself up to be disappointed. You're going to have a bad few months until the season starts, bro. So stop refreshing your, stop refreshing your search for news on Derrick Henry. Stop typing in Dallas Cowboys running back. <laughs> Potential Dallas Cowboy running back trades. Don't, don't type that shit in, bro. <laughs> don't, don't even type that shit in, dog. Just start looking at the draft, dog. I'm, I'm trying to do you a favor, bro. Try and do your favor. Just start looking at the draft. <laughs> shit, don't don't start looking at defensive tackles that we could trade for and shit. Don't do it, bro. Don't set yourself up like that. <laughs> don't start looking at big time linebackers we could try to get. Don't do it. Just look in the draft, dog. Just look in the draft, bro. That, just look at who we might be able to draft that can come in and have an impact, bro. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. We out of here. Peace out.